Somebody dead. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Date and I'm your humble narrator and welcome to Atomic Space Command. A shipbuilding RTS sort of game, a uh, massively multiplayer arena. Unfortunately, there are not any games that I was able to find, but that's okay. We shall create one. And uh, I've bought some parts and things like that for my ship. There was a, a little shop there. Uh, and you can buy golden atomics for real money, so I'm not sure how pay to win this game is gonna be. Uh, it looks like mostly, mostly, uh, cosmetic things like the American flag trail. Skewer Senior, I'm not sure what that means or what that does, but it seems pretty hard to crash into ships either way. So we will create that game now, and I'm gonna be on the red team because that's the team that always seems to win. Uh, and right now there's not a whole lot that you can do aside from fly around and try to shoot some people But you know, I can fly around and try to shoot some people. So that's what we're gonna do uh, I have the reactor here that basically um, Allows me to Supply power to all the different parts that I'm gonna be adding in We've got a rocket engine there. That's gonna need some power. I have quite a few different uh blaster turrets and missile turrets and things like that for now I think we will just attach a couple of blaster turrets nice and simple for this uh, little fighter jet and you can see they're moving around so they do follow my mouse I click a thing and then uh, the blaster goes in that direction which is really nice compared to the fixed blaster there is a medium shield uh, generally you want somebody to be controlling the shield because it uh, doesn't fully engulf your ship. It basically has just a little uh, portion that is protected. But I'll try and uh, demonstrate that for you as well. Life support system. This is going to keep air uh, for the crew members of our ship. Which is obviously extremely important if you want to keep flying around. And then we've got the fuel tank. Which uh, obviously provides fuel to the reactor and all this. We don't have any medical or I'm, we don't have any tech or flare, so I'm not going to worry about that for now. And we'll send uh, Kira Ducktown into the ship. Ducktown! Woo! -hoo -hoo. <laughs> That's a horrible joke. But our ship does look ready for now, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and launch. Yes, we are ready. Let us begin the match. All right. So, once you get into the match, you're going to want to land on different planets and things like that. We're on the red team. Destroy the blue team with conviction and purpose. You can see the different planets here. Um, Jupiter, Phobos, Daedalus, what's that? Mercury. That is quite close to the sun, isn't it? Uh, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. Firstly... What you need to do is uh, get your reactor and things going. So we'll go to the command tab now. And uh, the reactor is offline, which is unfortunate. So we can push it up to this level. You can also do this. But that fucking flashy light is pretty scary. So I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to bother with that for now. 12 power seems like a pretty good amount. We will go ahead and uh, supply 6 to the rocket that we have attached. You can see the oxygen is going down pretty steadily, being breathed by uh, Kira Ducktown. Ducktown! Woo! So we're going to want to increase the power until it stops going down. Starts going up. Okay, it's going to take four power for that. So let's uh, demonstrate the shield real quick. Obviously, uh, yeah, it's not gigantic. Go back into the world. I will control the shield for just a moment. And basically, you'll want to have somebody controlling each different part of the ship. So you have one guy on the shield trying to control uh, the damage that's incoming. And then you've got somebody on the blasters and somebody on the helm. And those are all represented by this icon, which uh, is just a star right now. Red star, something that I've created. But uh, everybody will have a different icon, hopefully. So I'm going to power off that shield for now. doesn't seem too uh, important. And I'll put some, some power to the blasters 
because that is something that I can actually do whilst flying the ship. And uh, really, the enemies right now don't do a whole lot. So here we are. Got my blasters on. Turn them on. Turn them on. There we go. And obviously, you can have a different person on each blaster if that's something that you uh, would find helpful. But I think that somebody should be on both blasters. That seems ideal to me. Finally, you will uh, go to the helm to start piloting your ship. Now, there are three different control types. I think B is probably the best one because you get this turning motion, up and down motion, that's all WASD, and then the tilt is on Q and E, whereas uh, if it's the A controls, the tilt is on A and D, and you don't have the uh, flat turning motion. Finally, the C controls allows you to uh, basically drag around the little dot inside this box, and that'll kind of move you around. But it's not ideal, in my opinion. I think the B controls are the best. So now we've got a basic rundown of everything that's happening in the game. And I will go ahead and hit the throttle. Boo boo! Now we're flying around. Hooray! Open up that map and see where we are. And, uh, yeah. Not anywhere special at the moment. I am this little dot here, Viper One. Ooh, that's a cool name. I guess I didn't name my ship. I thought I named it Dayton, like I do for everything because I'm not very creative. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna try and cruise up and see what's happening. Uh oh, somebody dead. You see that over there? Somebody dead. I hope that wasn't one of ours, but it doesn't really matter. The red team always wins <laughs> if you're playing the early alpha um, because you can't really build spice mines or anything like that. You can land on the planet, which is uh, a, a probably a good idea, but as far as building and things like that, it's not been implemented quite yet. However, the flying in the game does feel extremely good. The combat in the game uh, would feel extremely good, except for the fact that you can't really do at the moment. I can shoot this guy, that's for damn sure, but uh, he's not going to explode. No matter how many times I, I shoot him, he doesn't seem to explode. So, you've got your whole health up here, obviously, if they did start shooting back, I would, uh, I would be blown up once my whole health reaches zero, obviously, but, um, yeah, you basically respawn right away. The respawning at the moment is still a little bit janky as well, so if you do end up dying by some miracle, then it's, uh, probably just a good idea to restart the game. But... Winning the match does get you uh, silver credits, so you can buy new parts and things like that in the store, which is how I bought uh, a couple of blasters and things like that. There are larger reactors and larger thrusters and things like that, but they are all really, really expensive. I'm talking like uh, 50 plus matches to buy one new piece, which seems a little bit excessive to me. That's probably not uh, an amount of time that I will spend playing a game Especially one that's in early access because it'll probably just uh, end up resetting or something like that. Now we are on planet Orpheus and I've got five ore so I might be able to build something on this planet. But uh, I cannot take over a planet that's been taken by the blue guys. So uh, you land on the planet and then I'll pick a, a place and I'll sh shove an ore producer on there. And that's about all that I can do. It will produce some ores, it will presumably increase my points, but, um, yeah. I can't destroy the enemies or producers or anything like that. It's a very bare-bones build at the moment, which is just fine with me. I still think it's a relatively enjoyable game. Oh yeah, those blue, blue guys have taken over all the planets. So we are not going to win this match. I thought the red team always won, but uh, apparently I was mistaken in thinking that. So that's just fine. Are those some blue guys over there? Should I go try and take them out? Probably not going to be able to before the, uh, the match is over, but that's just fine. Wanted to give you a little peek at Atomic Space Command, and uh, if it's something that you guys would enjoy, then I would highly suggest at least taking a look at it, because uh, I really dig space. Space and dinosaurs are my two 
two weaknesses. Oh my god. And that guy got exploded. That's so unfortunate. I think they are uh, in my shit, aren't they? They definitely are. They've got rockets and all this going. I'm quite impressed by these boys. They know what they're doing, and they did get their 500 points. So we have failed the mission, but you get some uh, some pity money, so that's relatively nice. I think it's uh, an interesting concept. It could be a really, really cool game with uh, plenty of people online, but at the moment, yeah, it's hard to find a match. It's hard to uh, figure out what to do. There are some video tutorials included in the game, but they basically just cover building your ship and flying, which is all I've demonstrated here. Um, hopefully ore and farming and things will come into play relatively soon so you can get the real RTS aspects and really twist the match in your favor. But for now, it be what it be, and uh, it be's pretty pretty. <laughs> I like it a lot. I can't wait to see it come to uh, further development and we will definitely keep an eye on it until then. So friends, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. This has been Atomic Space Command, and it's pretty enjoyable. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the video. I got a secret button here. <laughs> and if you uh, do remember to do any of the above, I'll send you a self-destruct button so you can blow up your house. I think that'll be pretty cool. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for watching, friends, and until the next time, oh, <gasps> bye bye See you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again.